Hello, everybody. Hello, uh, hello uh, Engineer Russell Ayubi, Director General of the Ministry of Telecommunication. Thank you for being with us. Yes, hello. We are still waiting for uh, Maya. Ms. Maya said. Hello, everyone. Honorable Dean. Hello. Hello. present huge opportunities for the ICT sector. Huawei will focus on people's demands and dreams. Realize the new paradigm by scenario-based innovation and leverage the synergy across these five tech domains. We aim to establish a digital ecosystem for mutual benefit. Welcome, Ahmad Al-Shaymaat. Welcome, uh, Deans of uh, the University in Lebanon. Thank you for being also. We have uh, the magazine of unboxing Nina. We have uh, Al Ikhtab Al Amal and uh, NNA, of course, the National News Agency. Thank you all for being with us today. And Telecom Review and Technical also. So we will uh, be recording the session too. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Okay, I think it's a good to start now. Everybody is on board. Please, Mary. Yeah. Uh, I didn't introduce my colleague. Mohamed Sharara is the PR and Governmental Affairs Director at uh, Huawei, and I am the PR Manager of the ICT Talent. Uh, okay. so we'll start uh, now. Hello, everyone, again, and thank you for joining us today for the opening of uh, for the opening ceremony of the fourth edition of the Huawei ICT Conference. Uh, Huawei Technologies is holding a yearly ICT competition online for the first time to abide by physical distancing measures due to COVID-19 pandemic. This competition is targeting ICT university students and further promotes creativity among students by acting as a bridge between the classroom and the workforce, enhancing students' future employment opportunities. As the Ministry uh, of Telecommunications never failed to support us and was our partner last year. We are honored to hold the ICT conference 2020 under the patronage of the Ministry of Telecommunications, represented by its general director, uh, engineer Bashir Ayubi, and in partnership with the Lebanese Association for Developing Information Technology Lab, our half part represented by its president, Ms. Maya Tred, and of course, our main partner, the honorable representatives of the participating universities in Lebanon. Huawei ICT competition Lebanon 2020 will end in December, aiming to make students live practice uh, through this competition and select the best talents in Lebanon to attend the Huawei ICT competition. <laughs> The training and competition will help the 
Mari, please ask them to close the mic, Mari, please. So this year, Huawei ICT competition is attracting hundreds of students from many universities in Lebanon, and we salute all deans and professors attending the event today, as well as the media. You will see a great competition happen this year in Lebanon, and now we will share with you the video introducing the ICT competition from today. Digital Yeah, Mary is preparing to share. Mm -hmm. Digital technology pervades the very fabric of our lives. As the fourth industry revolution unfolds, digital trans. Apologies for this technical problem. Yeah, nice. uh, Digital technology pervades the very fabric of our lives as Until the technical problem is solved, I will give the floor now to uh, engineer uh, Basil Ayubi. Um, and then maybe we can uh, show the video again. Yes. Can you hear me well? Yes. Oh, okay, good. Al Hadur al Iftirad al Karim. بداية أود أن أتوجه بالتهنية إلى شركة هواوي على هذه المبادرة الرائدة المتمثلة بتنظيم مسابقة القدرات التكنولوجية حول العالم والتي تستهدف والتي تستهدف تحفيز الفكر الابتكار طلاب الجامعة وتسريع اندماجهم بالتكنولوجيا المتطورة لتعزيز كفاءاتهم ورفع مستوى مهاراتهم وخبراتهم في جولات من التصفيات المحلية والإقليمية للوصول إلى الفكر الأفضل والأكثر ابتكارا تمثل مسابق مسابقة هواوي لتخريط المعلومات والاتصالات مبادرة مبادرة رائدة فريدة من نوعها كونها تساهم في وضع اللبنات الأساسية لإنجاز خطط التنمية الاجتماعية والاقتصادية 
وتحقيق أهداف الاستراتيجيات والرؤى الوطنية للدولة وفي مقدمتها بناء اقتصاد رقم مستدام وقائم على المعرفة خلال عدة أهداف أبرزها إعداد الجيل القادم من قادة التكنولوجيا وتعزيز النظام الأيكولوجي لتقنية المعلومات والاتصالات في لبنان برعاية المواهب المحلية التي بإمكانها مواكبة فكر ومتطلبات العصر الذكي كما تعمل على دعم مسيرة التحول الرقمي في الدولة من خلال تعزيز مهارات هؤلاء الطلاب وتأتي دورة العام الحالي على ضوء الدور المتنامي لقطاع الاتصالات وتقنية المعلومات التي أثبتت فعله في بناء المجتمعات الذكية في لبنان وإيجاد الحلول التنموية والتطويرية للأعمال سيما في فترة تفشي جائحة كورونا بالإضافة إلى ضرورة إيجاد الحلول الكفيلة باستمرار الخدمات العامة والأعمال وتطلبات التعافي الاقتصادي في المرحلة القادمة إذا كل هذه الفوائد تجتمع في فكرة واحدة هذه هي أهميتها ونتطلع دائما أن تحذو باقي الشركات خطوات هواوي الشركة الرائدة التي استطاعت خلال فترة قياسية الوصول لمراتب متقدمة عالميا في عالم التكنولوجيا المعلومات والاتصالات والفضل في ذلك يعود بالتأكيد لتركيزه الكبير على البحث والتطبيق الذي يدعم استمرارية ابتكارات هواوي الرائدة أيها الحضور الافتراضي الكريم تتميز هذه المسابقة بأنها مناسبة لبلدنا لبنان إذ لدينا عدد كبير من الجامعات الرائدة إقليميا وعالميا والكثير من الطاقات الشبابية المبدعة التي تثبت نفسها وخصوصا في هذا المجال التقني الحيوي حيث فاز الفريق اللبناني الذي شارك في في مسابقه العام 2019 بالمرتبه الاولى اقليميا وفاز الفريق اللبناني في المرتبه الثانيه اقليميا عام 2018 هذا هو لبنان لبنان الذي يحتضي طاقات وقدرات شبابيه وبالتاكيد الرهان دائما عليه ومسؤوليتنا تجاهه هي تسليحه بالعلم والمعرفه باكمال المسيره خصوصا ولوج الاقتصاد الرقمي والافاده من مردودياته وتسهم مثل مثل هذه البرامج والمبادرات التي ينظمها القطاع الخاص مثل مسابقه هواوي لتقنيه المعلومات والاتصالات في الشرق الاوسط في دعم الرؤى والاستراتيجيات الطموحه للدوله وفي تعزيز قدره لبنان التنافسيه على المستوى العالمي من خلال بناء مهارات وخبرات متقدمه لجيل التقنيه الجديد وتعزيز القدرات الابتكاريه المحليه في بيئه مناسبه توفر جميع متطلبات الازدهار قطاع الاتصالات وتكنولوجيا المعلومات على وجه الخصوص أريد أن أختم كلمتي بدعوة, بدعوة كافة شركات القطاع الخاص والعام لبناء مزيد من جسور التعاون والعمل المشترك للمضي قدما في العمل على الاستفادة القصوى من التكنولوجيا الحديثة لبناء اقتصادنا الرقمي المستدام وأدعو كافة طلاب التكنولوجيا في مختلف جامعاتنا للتقدم والمشاركة في المسابقة إنها فرصة لكم وللبنان من شكرا Mr. Topol, excuse me, uh, in Arabic, so I must, I must say it in Arabic. I it's know okay. I can feel that's a, I can feel that's your best wishes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Shukran, Muhammad. Shukran, I like that, Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Basel. Now I will give the floor to Mr. Paul Stein, our CEO in the Lefan Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. First of all, I'm uh, the general director and uh, Mr. Basel Ayubi of the Ministry of Telecommunications. Also, the President Maya and uh, of the Lebanese Association for Developing Information and Technology. Also, and the distinguished the university deans, students, and the guests. First of all, the, to 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 everybody, and uh, we are excited to be together for the opening of the Huawei ICT competition in Lebanon 2020. I think this is the fourth, uh, fourth times the competition. Actually, we bring this uh, program to Lebanon. Many of you will know the Huawei ICT competition is an international program that provides opportunities for students exploring the ICT sector to develop their practical skills all done through a platform that also brings competition as a na nation and the international level. Well, the competition may look a, a different here, you know, the vision, contribution to the ICT system development. And the talent ecosystem in particular has never been more important. In 2020, with the rapid spread of the 
corona, ICT higher education is facing issue of how to develop talent with the students cannot go to classrooms. As and in line with the UNICEF program, learning never stops. I will continue to organize the ICT competition this year online. We also recognize that the digital technologies are becoming the, the building blocks of the Lebanon's intelligent society. They are increasingly important during the corona pandemic and the post pandemic recovery. As the demand for connectivity is increased a lot, empowering Lebanon's use with global knowledge and new skills will play a key in the future of the social economic growth. As such, Huawei is committed to growing the ICT value chain in Lebanon through the local talent and open ecosystem building. The ICT competition will benefit the Lebanese universities and the students at the level. National competitiveness will in turn be increased through developing ICT talent in Lebanon. More broadly, Huawei is pursuing local ICT talent development through a comprehensive strategy in Lebanon to will enhance the ICT skills for students and the engineers through different kinds of the program like the ICT competition as well as our the Future Leaders Initiative and the Huawei ICT Academy. With the ever-changing nature of the ICT industry, programs like this enable individuals to stay ahead of the latest demands of the ICT market. We believe that this ultimately serves the country and is in alignment with national development agendas. We also truly appreciate the support we have received in recent years from all of our respected partners. Without it, we would not be able to continue with the SD competition and to achieve the exceptional results that we have. We are confident in the success of the competition this year because we have your support. Closing, I would like to take this opportunity to thank our partner once again and all the participating universities and students for their involvement. And a special thank to all of you here joining us today. We wish all the students and the participants uh, best of luck. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. And now I will give the floor to uh, Dr. Roger Ashar from the AUST University. As uh, the AUST is uh, the Huawei uh, ICT Academy in Lebanon and is a, is a very active uh, university when it comes to uh, certifications and the ICT Academy. Please, Dr. Roger. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Um, dear colleagues, I'm to be with you today addressing Lebanese students in the opening ceremony of the ICT 2020 competition. We can still dream, plan, and succeed despite problems Lebanon is facing. Eco the economical crisis, the political situation, the COVID-19 pandemic, it's a long list. Hope that everyone is in good shape, feeling well and safe. Um, life goes on, planning goes on, dreaming of having a bright future goes on. Let me first thank Huawei Lebanon, represented by Mr. Paul Fang and all the team for this initiative. Uh, last year, AUST had the chance to participate in the 2019 ICT competition uh, through Rami Adri, an AUST student who won with two other students from the Lebanese University, the regional competition in China. Such an achievement. It was a real success for Lebanon, for AUST, and for Rami. Collaboration with Huawei started three years ago, and I'm proud to announce and to say that AUST was the first university in Lebanon to have the Huawei ICT Academy on its premises. Such an opportunity for AUST students. So till now, two courses were launched through this academy. The AI course, uh, which started last spring, that allows students to sit for the AI certification at the end of the course. Today, in the fall semester, we have 60 students registered. 
Another course will be offered next spring, already prepared, the 5G, which allows students to get the related certification. Uh, after the pandemic, uh, AUSC also signed with Huawei an MOU for online learning. So uh, several trainings for students and instructors were delivered. At the end, uh, I would like to tell students, all students, that despite all odds, have the chance to achieve and to dream big. Be active, improve yourselves through trainings, participate in competitions and events. Thank you again and wish you the best of luck. Thank you, Dr. Ashar. Thank you very much. Thank you. And now I will give the floor to uh, Ms. Maya Zay, President of the LADIT. Thank you, Mary. I would like to thank you, uh, first of all, Mary and all the Huawei team for this opportunity and for the great introduction. It's such an honor to be attending the opening ceremony of the ICT competition, Lebanon 2020, and to be part of this initiative as president of LADIT, Huawei Authorized Learning Partner, HALP. The Lebanese Association for Developing Information and Technology, LADIT, was founded by a group of young, enthusiastic, and patriotic technology-oriented professionals dedicated to develop and enhance Lebanese society by technology-driven projects and high-tech education, empowering and encouraging innovations in both education and technology sectors. With this mission in mind, we embarked on this educational journey with Huawei, believing that we can together integrate a new level of education. With Huawei's innovative, cutting-edge course offering, we experienced a high level of, of professionalism and a true educational opportunity for the Lebanese youth lies ahead. Today, Huawei is not only offering an outstanding educational opportunity, they are offering a life and career-changing opportunity for young Lebanese IT and telecom students. I would like to wish you the best of luck and thank you for this great opportunity again. Thank you, Maya. Thank you, And now we will be sharing the video. And we are sorry again for the technical problem that occurred before. Yes. Pervades the very fabric of our lives. Digital technology pervades the very fabric of our lives. As the fourth industry revolution unfolds, digital transformation is in full swing. We find our on the threshold of an opportunity for the ICT sector. Huawei will focus on people's demands and dreams. Realize the new paradigm by scenario-based innovation and leverage the synergy across these five tech domains. We aim to establish a digital ecosystem for mutual benefits with joint creation of our partners and ICT ecosystem to create new value for industries and to drive the upgrade from digital to intelligent. Huawei is a private company founded in 1987. We have 16 R&D institutes and centers, 36 joint innovation centers, and 45 training centers globally. Over 700 mathematicians, 200 physicists and chemists are working at Huawei. More than 5,000 PhDs are specializing in engineering, and approximately 15,000 employees are engaged in basic research. Technology shouldn't be just for the privileged, but should benefit all of humanity. To enable various students to learn together and talents to innovate better. Huawei is focused on building an open, collaborative, mutually beneficial talent ecosystem. Developing ICT talent and facilitating the industry's growth and transformation. Laying the cornerstones for ICT industry and education integration. Tech for all, seeds for future, learn on, Intelligent Education Online Summit. To contribute in the development of a stronger ICT talent ecosystem that is essential to keep up with the region's digital transformation. Huawei, as a global ICT leader, 
will hold the ICT Competition 2020 for the fourth year consecutively. Hello, everyone. Withstanding the COVID-19 requires a futuristic approach and hard work to take advantage of the rising digital world, new technologies that will play a vital role in driving the anticipated social economic development of the Middle East region. As the president of the Huawei in the Middle East region, I want to send my regards to all the strong-willed people in the face of the pandemic. This year, Huawei Middle East ICT competition will continue, and its the fourth edition will be heard online. We look forward to cooperate with you on nurturing more ICT talents to empower the Middle East digital transformation and create the future leaders for the national targets and ambitious visions. Thank you. Ten countries from the Middle East, Bahrain, Iraq, Jordan, Kuwait, Lebanon, Oman, Pakistan, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates. Twenty ministries and government authorities collaborated with the competition in 2019. 437 universities participated. Over 21,000 students registered. What will we see in this year? We would like to invite you to take part in the Huawei ICT Competition Middle East 2020. Opening ceremony started in October 2020. Participants will compete in road shows, national preliminary, training, and national finals. The winning teams of the national finals in each of the 10 Middle Eastern countries will join the Huawei ICT Competition Middle East 2020. To compete in the final stage of the competition, Different types of rewards will be given to the top teams. 20,000 US dollars cash for first prize. What is new this year? Apart from the practice competition, we will introduce the innovation competition this year through invitation system and set best innovative award, best technology award, best application prospect award. Visit the website www.HuaweiACAD.com and enter to participate today. We look forward to seeing you soon. Together, we can make it happen. About the ICT competition that we already shared with the students, and now uh, we will share it on the the me and the all the attendees uh, participants. So now I will give the floor to my colleague Muhammad. Good morning. Uh, I want to welcome you again uh, to this uh, special launch event for our ICT competition 2020. Thank you all uh, from MOT, Mr. Basil Ayubi, and uh, from all the universities, uh, reputable deans and representatives. Also, uh, our technology partners in Lebanon, uh, IT Syndicate, LADIP, PCA, uh, and all the media that are attending today. So uh, I will not take too long uh, in introducing about the intelligent world we are in. Uh, we now we are connected remotely and we are using this the, the, the communication and the telecom uh, means in order to continue our life and to continue our educational uh, journey for our students and also our own learning so the fourth industrial generation uh, revolution has proven itself during COVID-19 more than any else so we are in need for connectivity we are in need for uh, smart connectivity Big data, AI, uh, are all around us, and we we will be uh, attached to that more and more in the coming in the coming future. I is our base. The connectivity, the five G, the fiber uh, uh, is our base. Uh, on top of it, our computing, the computing power needs to be built. The cloud, the AI, the big data, and these two are the pillars in order for all the future industries to continue and to, to prosper, like the manufacturing, energy, media, health, or education, which we are discussing today. So uh, why Huawei? Huawei is the leading ICT 
worldwide. And uh, Huawei has more than 194,000 employees, uh, where more than half of them, 96,000, are focused on R&D research and development, uh, especially on technology, 5G, 6G, and AI, and, and furthermore. Uh, Huawei's footprint is in more than 170 countries, and it is uh, uh, considered as the 49th in the global 500. So Huawei has four major business groups. The consumer business group, which is mainly the devices, smartphones, wearables, and smart home devices. The second biggest is the carrier business, where we are uh, like uh, the, the one we are connecting and uh, supplying solution and services to our customers, uh, fixed and mobile operators like Touch and Alpha and Ojero and, and the MOT of Lebanon. The third one is the enterprise business, providing services and solutions to our uh, vertical uh, customers like banking, like uh, education, like, like universities, uh, media, and many fun. Our cloud business group responsible or, or uh, having responsibility for the public cloud and hybrid cloud and, and AI and all the future we are discussing today. So in the last, uh, in the last years, Huawei has uh, seen a, a steady growth in revenue. And even in 2020, in the, during the pandemic, Huawei continued growing. In the first half of 2020, uh, uh, Huawei revenue grows by 15%. And uh, we have uh, the leading position in 5G, also in smartphones, uh, where we, uh, we have seen a number one in, the, uh, in April. And also, uh, we have uh, lots of solutions like smart city and as well as cloud. So in Lebanon, back to Lebanon, we have more than 100 employees, 70% of them are Lebanese. And over the past 12 years uh, of operation in Lebanon, uh, we have Huawei has uh, uh, created uh, directly and indirectly job opportunities to 2,000 uh, Lebanese uh, engineers and, uh, uh, and students. Uh, Huawei's main branch is in Beirut, and, uh, and we have, during the past two years, have uh, uh, participate in, in educating and in uh, uh, training more than 250 students in collaboration with more than 12 universities in Lebanon. And also during the past months in the pandemic, we have worked with 10 institutes in Lebanon, mainly like uh, uh, Ministry of Public Health, where we have provided the video conferencing solution and an AI assisted uh, solution to help the Rafiq Hariri Hospital in identifying uh, more accurate tasks uh, via CT scan uh, for uh, COVID-19 uh, patients. So basically our uh, uh, contribution in the talent cultivation, we have three main major programs. The first one is the ICT competition. We are launching today the fourth edition of this competition this year, uh, where we have, uh, as mentioned earlier by Mr. Basil and Mr. Paul, that have achieved the first position in 2019 regional uh, competition. So we have high hopes in, in this year's uh, uh, performance of our students in Lebanon. The second one is Seeds for the Future, where Huawei sends and provide uh, local experience or, or special experience for the students of the uni Lebanese universities, among other countries as well to get in direct touch with the, our research and development team. The third is uh, the Huawei Academy, where we have signed already with two universities and we are working with more universities from the audience as well. Next. So uh, basically this is the, the, the introduction. Now my colleague Mary will introduce more about the, the competition we are launching today. Mary? Yeah. So, uh, as we said, uh, we are very proud that uh, the Lebanese students are achieving great strides in uh, the ICT editions every year. Uh, for example, Lebanon won the first uh, prize, the first place in the regional uh, 2017 ICT competition, second place in the 2018, and first place with uh, Amar and uh, Rami are here with us today, and Amar will be sharing. Uh, her experience as first prize winner later on. 
today and we are very proud of all our uh, Lebanese students from all the universities because really they are uh, achieving great strides in uh, the competitions every year. So as we said, uh, Huawei is cultivating talent from different universities in Lebanon through the ICT Academy. And we have uh, two ICT academies in Lebanon with the AUFD and with the Lebanese University that we are very proud of. And hopefully we will be able to uh, build more ICT academies with uh, more universities uh, in Lebanon. So now regarding the timeline of the competitions, we are here today on the 27th of October is the opening ceremony, the official launching of the, of the competition. Meanwhile, all uh, students from different universities registered online to the competition and they are now studying seven courses uh, to be able to uh, pass the national preliminary exam that will uh, happen between 9 and 11 November. The date is to be confirmed yet. Um, then uh, when uh, the, they pass the national preliminary exam, they will attend the training, the five-day training, uh, between 16 and 20 November. After that, uh, they will pass the national final exam uh, at the end of the November, or week of December, um, to be able to be selected to the ME final, the regional final. And the closing ceremony will happen on the on the mid of December. As we said, uh, we are uh, today focusing this year on uh, five uh, tracks, datacom, 5G, AI, cloud computing, and storage. All the seven courses that the students will be learning are related to these uh, subjects. For the prizes that you saw in the video, uh, uh, good prizes will be given this year. On the national, we will be giving uh, Huawei products, certificates, and trophies. As for the regional uh, uh, awards, the first team, uh, the first uh, place uh, winners will get a $20,000 uh, uh, cash prize along with all the other uh, gifts uh, from certifications to trophies, Huawei mobiles and exam vouchers. The exam vouchers are very important uh, because they will give more advanced training and knowledge for the students once they can to the Huawei um, courses, they will be able to get the certifications. I will explain more now about the certifications. Uh, with the exam vouchers that they win, the students will be able to choose uh, one of the tracks mentioned here, 5G, WLAN, LTE, storage, cloud, cloud computing, AI, IoT, etc. And they will be able to enhance their learning experience in their fields. And they will be uh, getting three levels of certifications. As you can see uh, on the right, that we have the HCIA associate level. Then we have the more advanced level, the HCIP certification. And then we have the HCIE expert uh, level. So we hope that with the, all the ICT academies established in Lebanon, we will encourage all Lebanese students to have Huawei HIX certifications for their future employment uh, opportunities. Uh, this will be a very good plus for them. So, uh, of course, the students participating in this uh, competition are uh, in the ICT field. They are outstanding students and interested in Huawei. As for how to register now, uh, we uh, thanks to the roadshows with the universities, uh, they are now registered. We, we have more than 300 registered in, the, in Lebanon. And uh, this was the registration process that we already explained to the students. OK, so now I will give the floor to um, the student, Ms. Amar Gandur. She won the first prize. Uh, last year in, with the Lebanon team in the regional ICT competition 2019. Thank you, Maria. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am truly honored to be here today presenting myself in this special occasion. In this event where we are celebrating the ultimate success of one year that passed and opening the doors for the fresh minds to reach up brighter successes. When I first applied to Huawei ICT competition 2019, I was elated to be part of this global platform that allows me to explore my ICT knowledge. 
my motivation was mainly driven by the confidence I have in my ICT skills that I learned from the experienced and dedicated team of teachers and mentors at the Lebanese University. Also, the outstanding results Lebanese team has achieved in past Huawei ICT competitions in 2018 and 2017 boosted my confidence in achieving regional and hopefully global outstanding ranks. After the national final, when I got to know my teammates, Rami Al-Qadiri and Karim Rado, we followed a well-planned process that involved educating ourselves on all the technical and soft skills needed in the regional final. We cared most to spend our time together and enforce communication between us in order to get out the best teamwork experience of all. And indeed, for me, the team presented the best support I could ever wish for, and which I believe was, was the leading key to our greatest success winning the first prize in the Middle East Regional Final in China. So during our stay in Shenzhen, we had the opportunity to make valuable and exceptional connections with teams, tutors, and ambassadors from other Middle Eastern countries. We are glad we presented our country as well, with deep faith and ambition that couldn't be hidden from our other competitors. All of these preparations couldn't be done without the consistent support from the Huawei talent ecosystem presented then by Maria Khaled and today by Mary Awad. They are well acknowledged for their efforts supporting the ICT students in Lebanon, building technical and academic bridges between them and the rapidly changing ICT industry. I believe that this innovative system along with Huawei ICT academies present for us and for our universities endless possibilities to grow and invest in our education. Also, my words wouldn't be complete without passing the special thanks to the Lebanese university, coordinators, staff and teachers. The university that has always shown great dedication in creating new chances for students to fulfill their goals inside So apart from the ICT competition experience, I would like to mention my participation in Huawei Seas for the Future program. It is a two weeks scholarship program, including one week of culture in Beijing and one week of technical experience in Huawei headquarters in Shenzhen. About the latest ICT technologies like 5G, cloud computing, and others. The program really opened new perspectives for me and I believe that the social, cultural, and technical experience I got from SIS for the Future program is a priceless and outstanding experience that may bring a whole new future to me. When I came back from China, someone said to me, in the midst of all disturbances we had in, in the town, in Lebanon, the news of you winning the competition was like the spotlight that made us all hopeful again. Numerous aspects have changed changed only in one year, and today, passing through tough social and economic conditions, mainly during the current corona outbreak, the students participating in the Huawei ICT competition will be exposed to even more challenge. Nevertheless, we are still expecting bigger achievements on both regional and global levels, for we trust and we've always believed the confidence of Liban Lebanese students, the dedication of Lebanese universities and the support from Huawei talent ecosystem to build a platform where all of us will be giving the technical and moral, moral support needed for the competitors. And finally, to dedicate our success to our beloved country, Lebanon, to whom we wish a bright future full of pride, honor, and peace. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Amar, for this experience sharing. And uh, now we will be uh, announcing the awards uh, for the winners of last year's regional competition. So, uh, Akid, a big mabrook and congratulations to Amar uh, Ghandour, to Rami Al Adiri, and to Karim Rida for uh, winning the regional ICT competition 2019. And we are very proud of you. So thank you all for attending uh, to this opening uh, ceremony. Thank you uh, for the media also. And we hope that uh, we will have a great coverage.
Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Hajar Rabia. Thank you, Ayad. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. معنا تك وحلقة جديدة أهلا بكم نحن اليوم موجودين از ميديا بارتنر لمعرض سمارتكس 2019 الحدث الاهم لكل الشركات اللي عامله بمجال تكنولوجيا المعلومات وايضا لكل الافراد العاملين بمجال تكنولوجيا المعلومات خلينا نشوف عن شو عم نحكي حاول ينضم لنا عبر الفيديو المهندس محمد هادي قارش اهلا وسهلا فيك مساء الخير رشيد اليوم يعتمد العالم بشكل شبه اساسي على الانترنت والانبوكسينج اليوم هو للكيبورد الشرقي كاسيو 83 كرمال هيك عم نقول الانبوكسينج المناسب بالمكان المناسب اللي هو ترانسبورتيشن درونز هي حاليا موجوده بدبي بمعرض جاي تكس معنا تك وحلقة جديدة أهلا بكم نحن اليوم موجودين از ميديا بارتنر لمعرض سمارت اكس 2019 الحدث الأهم لكل الشركات اللي عاملة بمجال تكنولوجيا المعلومات وأيضا لكل الأفراد العاملين بمجال تكنولوجيا المعلومات خلينا نشوف عن شو عم نحكي حاول ينضم لنا عبر الفيديو المهندس محمد هادي قارش أهلا وسهلا فيك مساء الخير رشيد اليوم يعتمد العالم بشكل شبه اساسي على الانترنت والانبوكسينج اليوم هو للكيبورد الشرقي كاسيو 83 كرمال هيك عم نقول الانبوكسينج المناسب بالمكان المناسب اللي هو ترانسبورتيشن درونز هي حاليا موجوده بدبي بمعرض جاي تكس <تصفيق> 